Hey YouTube, this is Scrapman Joe. Today we're going to take apart a CRT monitor. That's the computer monitor that people used to use. You know, the real big ones with a big glass heavy screen in front. Well, we're going to take one of those apart today. I'm going to show you what's inside, show you a couple of different types, and then we're going to uh, take it apart and I'm going to show you all the individual uh, items that you can resell that's inside of one. You're not going to get a whole lot out of a CRT monitor, maybe five bucks. If you're real lucky and you have like a thick copper cable cord inside, you'll make upwards of seven or eight. Not very likely. But we'll take it apart. I hope you enjoy the video. Don't forget to like it if you like it. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks a lot. Okay. Our first CRT monitor is a KDS, uh, made in Korea. Still got the cord attached, which is valuable. If you if you if you cut this cord off, that's a number two insulated. It is, I think, a dollar a pound right now. Now to get inside of this thing, you can do it two ways: uh, take a hammer to it, or take the screws out. On this one, we have. have a um, well underneath this little panel there's a screw I'll knock that out with a hammer in a second there's another one right here another one right here another one right here this is like I said the KDS it's a pretty big monitor it's probably upwards of uh, five six seven dollars in this one because of how big it is assuming that it's copper and not aluminum this is our second one it is a mag innovision a monitor also with a cord always a good sign the cord itself is pretty valuable all right, this one's got a couple of screws up top here that we'll, uh, we'll take out. But it's also got this one, this one, this one, and this one. So we'll take that apart to get inside of it. And then we got the Goliath. <laughs> It is also a KDS made in Korea. This one's a 19 inch and it's huge. Uh, this cord's still attached. Like I said, this is number two insulated copper. It goes for a dollar a pound. I always save these. Um, and it's got screw, 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 screw. So we'll pop those off. I won't make you watch that though to get inside of these cages. you have it that's the inside of it this one I needed to remove four screws um, it goes a lot faster if you have a screw gun that's what I'm about to switch over to but you can see this one has a secondary cage made of aluminum and to take it off it's going to take uh, several screws quite a few actually so let's get started go ahead and cut this off
this is aluminum these are little copper flanges but I'm not going to take them off because they weigh so little here is your computer your CRT monitor Just so you know, most of these do not have all of that casing. The bigger ones do, smaller ones don't. This is, uh, assuming it's copper, this is the, the good stuff right here. I'm going to cut it open just to take a look at what's in there. Yeah. I don't know if you can see that or not, but that's copper. That's good. That's very good. Hammer. Copper. Yay, copper. Uh, not too much left on here. A couple of wires. Okay, guys. I'm going to tell you something, okay? Inside of this big glass tube is another piece of metal. It's just tin. You know, steel not worth a whole lot so I'm not gonna open this up but there is another piece inside of here that is kinda like an inside cage um, it's up to you whether or not you take it off just be really careful uh, don't try this at home I'm not responsible if you hurt yourself yada yada um, if you do decide to open it up there is a piece of metal in there but do so at your own risk I'm not going to do it for two reasons. A, it's not worth the effort to get it out. Um, and B, it's dangerous because you have to break all this glass and I'm, I'm just not going to do it. So we're done with this one. Alright. It's up to you whether or not you also want to tear this apart. This is a copper binding that sometimes has a wax or a hard plastic um, sealant. says scrapping ain't fun. This one's being a bugger. Usually they break apart much easier. Guess I'll just have to do it the hard way. There it goes. Kind of like opening up a clamshell. Takes some work to get to the good stuff.
here's that plastic glue or resin that they use. You got to get it off. Some people are sticklers for that. And then some tape. There you go. Clean copper. more clean copper. I'm going to try to clean this with a knife. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I don't recommend cutting it like this. Use a razor knife or something. I actually have a machine that cuts these open for me. I'll show you someday. I know this seems tedious, but a lot of scrapping is. And since it's something most people do in their spare time, it's not that big of a deal. There you go guys. Like I said it was a little tedious but you know such is our line of work. Okay guys so here's what we got out of one. We have a little bit of number two insulated copper a dollar a pound. This is the power cord as well that I have over here. <laughs> All right this is your number two insulated. This is your number two copper. Uh, I don't know, there's maybe a pound there. You got some plastic. Uh, some cities actually have a, have places where you can sell your uh, post-consumer grade plastic. We don't have one around here, so it goes in the trash. We also have a couple of pieces of tin metal. Um, I think this is actually aluminum, um, but the rest of it's just tin. We have a low grade, low grade electrical board. Um, I like selling these as is because it takes so much to get any weight. But if you feel like it, you can go ahead and break off this plastic or this uh, aluminum sheet here, 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 and here. There's also a tiny little um, transformer. Here's another one that you can sell as an electric motor in most places. 
and then we have the last piece of trash the the big glass tube and the plastic that goes on the front of the monitor this is trash this uh, this whole board goes as electric breakage um, where I sell it at it's two center pounds so it usually takes a truckload of this to make it worth taking in but it's easy to add up it, it adds up very easy very quickly um, this kind of metal is steel or tin it goes as nine center pound aluminum is 40 center pound uh, the plastic is usually if you can find a place that'll buy it maybe two cent a pound um, number two copper is two dollars and fifty cent a pound right now a dollar a pound for this and that's it hey guys thanks for watching my youtube video on how to take apart a crt monitor i took part one i averaged between five maybe seven or eight dollars per monitor it's a lot of work but I would recommend just letting them stack up. Wait till you have a dozen of them or so, and then do it all. Spend the day just taking them apart, you know. That's like 60 bucks for a dozen. So, you know, if you ain't doing anything that day anyway, easy way to make 60 bucks. Take it easy. If you have any comments or requests, post it in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe and like my videos if you do like them. And I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.